Now, if you watch TV, this face is very familiar to you. Jason Moore of Audubon Chrysler is here to share the details of so many upcoming events of interest to all of us, including fair fun and rodeos. Good to see you. Good to see you. First of all, we've got so much going on you in the month do. of July. I actually was kind of recapping with you, and I was like, oh, wow, how did I schedule this month as busy? <laughs> what did I do? What was I thinking? But you know what? It's that time of year, and since we're so family-focused and, 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 and community-oriented, it just makes sense. And this is the time of, of year you do that kind of stuff. Of course, we have fireworks in town tonight. And then, of course, we've got fireworks tomorrow in town. To, and then we got the, the, the rodeo this weekend. And we're a, we're a proud sponsor. So you're, what are you doing at the rodeo? Are you are you yourself? Will you be? Um, well, you know? I, we'll see what happens. <laughs> but I, I'm supposed to be doing a couple things that I don't know if I'm going to buy into or not. But they were like, well, you could try this or this. And I'm like, that sounds dangerous, guys. Yes, I'd like to keep my head where But at is. the very least, we're going to pass out some prizes and have some fun and, and, and sponsor an event. They, they're bringing in the Lone Star Rodeo this year, which is an iconic rodeo. They've got years and actually decades under their belt. They put on a really fun show. And of course, it's completely family friendly. Price wise, you can't beat it. $5 for kids up front, $10 for adults up front. Perfect. They've got those tickets for sale at any Independence Bank in town, and it's just $10 and $15 at the gate. Now, can you, is this at the fairgrounds? Yes, ma'am. It sure is. They've, uh, they've actually ordered in and built a whole bunch of bleachers, and I know that team out there has been working real hard to make sure that, the they, that there's plenty of room for everybody to come out. Of course, that's not all the events. I would encourage you to go to their website to take a look at what all is happening all month long, because there's way more than just the rodeo, but the rodeo does happen this Friday and Saturday. That'll be fun. It for, will be a for lot of the fun. whole family, whether you think you're a rodeo rider or not. <laughs> now, one of my favorite the activities that you do every year is stuff the bus. This is so interesting. I it, it's crazy because I can remember sitting here with you on the couch, yeah. you know, just a little over a year ago, and we were prepping for what this community's second stuff the bus was going to be, and we had decided to make it a little bigger and bolder. And this year we're getting even bigger and bolder. Last year we were able to raise over five thousand dollars worth of school supplies and cash in just four hours. So we thought, what can we do with twelve hours? So from six to six on Saturday the thirteenth, we're going to be at Walmart with a giant bus set up on both sides of the building. We're going to be grilling out hot dogs and hamburgers, chips and drinks. All the proceeds and all the donations go straight to Henderson County Schools. Well, the beauty of that is you can kind of go in Walmart, pay, pick up your stuff and just bring it right out to the bus. You know, we've met with the folks here at Walmart and they are such good community patrons and they've said, hey, we'll make it real easy for people to come in and buy what they want, whether it's a dollar or a hundred dollars. Uh, of course, we'll take anything and everything in between because those kiddos shouldn't go to school this year without what they need. And so many do. You know, there's, uh, there's over, I think, 1,300 kiddos they go to school with the essential supplies they need to do their schoolwork. And so we want to make that less. If we can knock them all out and take care of all the kiddos, that'd be great. Right. And plus, it takes the burden off the teacher's pocket. It sure does. As well. You know, I, um, oops, oh, I'm sorry about that. It's okay. So I, it's um, your first day on television. Uh, it's it's my first time. I've never had a mic before. I've never seen a camera. <laughs> this is crazy. Um, but no, we, um, I know actually a lot of teachers, and they take out of their own pocket of and help those kiddos out. And it's like, let's, let's take that burden off their shoulders and take care of them. Well, in the seconds that we have, you have another event, too, back to the Blue. Jeep rally. Yeah, the when Back to Blue Jeep Rally is at the end of the month. That's on the 27th. We're going to be at Audubon. They're driving over from Evansville. We're expecting hundreds of Jeeps. Last year we had over 300, maybe 500 plus this year. We've got food trucks. We've got live music. And all the proceeds benefit the Cops Connecting with Kids program, which we're a proud supporter of. There's a, a lot right. of stuff. A lot of stuff going on. <laughs> Audubon Chrysler, Jason Moore, you can check all of those activities. All of this will be on Tri-State homepage mm -hmm. and on the Audubon Chrysler Absolutely. website. See you soon. Thank See you. Soon. you. Thank you. We'll be back with Kelsey Sellers of Celebron right after this. You're watching Local Lifestyles, and we appreciate it. This portion of Lifestyles is sponsored by Audubon Chrysler.